Hey guys, from Vane, and welcome back to another episode of A Plague Tales of Requiem. I'm sorry, my brain was just trying to figure out what the title was. Uh, last episode, we finished up Chapter 9. We're now in Chapter 10. Uh, we are going to the fortress that uh, apparently Aurelia, which is the sister of a old... Not old, but like a, a sister to Basilicus, who is the child of the Embers. Child of Embers. We're kind of trying to figure out what the hell Aurelia went through. Uh, because apparently she got imprisoned and into the fortress. So we're going to follow into the steps of figuring out what the hell happened to her. Uh, and that's essentially what we ended up going through. So we're going kind of like to the fortress with Sophia and uh, Hugo. We got separated now, unfortunately. Amicia is now down here in this underground area that uh, apparently is near an area that the slave traders, the tr slavers, uh, are like handling their business i guess they just killed like two slaves in front of us i guess or kind of lay like they laid out hints of what they do to the slaves so we're probably going to be sneaking around and uh trying to get rid of them slash get around them whichever it is so yeah we're alone for now which i'm perfectly fine with being alone is a little bit easier because i don't have to hold down hugo or worry about like sophia wa wandering about weirdly but Amicia. then again, yes, I'm here. But then again, I'm fine. But they're prepared to kill. Yeah. Let's not waste time. Damn. Ugh. I hope Milo's right. Can't lose any more men. It's worth it. We've trusted him this far. So I'm guessing we can actually kill people now for once. <laughs> Damn. What? Never seen you do that. Really? I don't like oh. it. Get up, you lazy bastard! Come on. Wait, is that a archer on the top? Yeah, it looks like it's an archer. We've on the got top. a dead body here. Search the area. That's too. I know, and I don't want to know, Sophia. All right, <laughs> do what you have to. I mean, I like how they're just now starting to question our. <laughs> Trying to question our, our ability to, to, to be empathetical about, like, being empathy, uh, giving empathy to who our enemies are. It is interesting that they're, like, making it look like it matters, but it really doesn't. It just shows, it just gives us better levels for other, like, aspects of ourselves. Stop being such a stupid ass. Get up. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> that was, like, two, like, shots that went nowhere. <laughs> okay, so that guard has a helmet, so we're gonna have to figure out something with that. Oh, no, no, the other guy went off the other way. I'd say at least we were able to, like... I think that's... There's one more person probably nearby. Yeah, there's one more person right there. I think that person detected the guy falling down or something. Yeah, the guy has a fire. I don't get why would they have a fire. We have a body here. Find the bastard who did this. Give me a second. Let me see what we unlocked. I'm trying to remember what it was. Uh, it was alchemy, I think. Strong fire. Kills enemies with throwing a jar. Okay, so we can probably do that, I guess, right? To just get rid of more enemies quickly. But we have to group them up together, I guess, or have them very close together grouped up. You took that lady away. What is he going to do to her? Try not to think about that. Can we help her? We'll see. We yeah. don't even know what's going on. True. Do I have enough jars? I just realized. We have three jars, okay. That's pretty pretty decent, I guess. Decent amount of stuff we can use right now. Oh jeez, I'm gonna hurry up. Yeah, because it seems like uh, they're roaming about everywhere and I don't know exactly where some enemies are choosing to go. But uh, some enemies are choosing to... to be annoying. Which I kind of need. Hey, that's gotta be you. No. No, no, no. Okay. Uh. 
the room. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, bad, 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 bad. I'm dead. <laughs> I love that. That was hilarious. It's just like, oh, we're so close to the to the grass, but <laughs> we stupidly, I stupidly just burned both me in. <laughs> I love it. It's just hilariously stupid, but I love it. It killed both of us. We're all of us. <laughs> I just like how stupid that was, but it was like the best. The best example of teaching me that I shouldn't be sitting in grass for too long if I wanted to to do whatever with it. Is there like a backside of this area? I'm still not sure either. Yeah, I'm, I brought up my crossbow. The leader. Yes, Milo. I know that name. Roams around the Mediterranean coasts. He's a butcher. Just perfect. Hmm. Another faction to deal with again as i said it's just so much factions in these games well there's i guess there's a lot of factions in the sense that they would probably have a lot more story to them i guess in a sense no, that's around me, yeah but i want to scan out enemies man you had the sense oh maybe because you need the rats in order to see the enemies i guess that's probably what it is Okay, I'm gonna go this way then. I'm gonna go to the grass quickly here. Yeah, I wanted to see what was upstairs, and there seems to be nothing upstairs anyway, so... There was nothing upstairs, so it didn't really help. Oh, there was downstairs here. Let's try going downstairs. So that's why he had the fire... I don't think I can hit him with the uh, with the crossbow here though. Can I? That must be their work. Let's see if he's going downstairs. I guess he is going downstairs. Oh god, Sophia scared me for a second. I was like, huh? It's like there's a guard coming after me there? No. You still with us? Hey! Sorry, I'm just checking to see if we had enough arrows. Got an intruder. There goes another guy. What's he doing? <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> oh, whoa! I didn't know what happened there. All right, so that's pretty much all my crossbolts, right? No, I got one more. Okay, sweet. I thought I ran out of crossbow ammo right off the bat. I think we're fine for now. It's interesting they said that they don't want to lose any more men and we're just literally eliminating them slowly or as much as possible. Uh, there's a chest here, so let's pick up some ammo, I guess. Or pick up whatever. They're pretty heavily armed for slavers. They look on edge for whatever reason. I mean, maybe Why because. Not that high down. Obviously. Which is probably somewhere near. Yeah, probably. What is this? Hearts. How many hearts do I need? Still, how far we are? 23. Okay, we're not even close to 85, which is the amount we need to upgrade the next bits of uh, tools that we need. And that technically gives us achievements too, as well. Uh, I still need to be careful though, because I don't know if there's more enemies or not in this place. Nothing there. Yeah, because I don't know how much more there is in this area, in terms of enemies. I mean, there could be more enemies, there could be less, there's no indication on how much more there is. Actually, I wonder if there's arrows upstairs. I might have missed the chance to see if there was arrows picked up, because I, I know we had an archer... There was an archer lookout right here, right? There it is. Oh no, that's a knife. <laughs> Nah, I guess that's better. Oh, sheesh. God, really? There is actually more enemies to deal with. Ugh. I was wrong. 
I think that's an archer right there. But I can't reach the archer from here though. Yeah, I can't reach that archer definitely from up here. Oh, no wait, no, I don't wanna use that. I wanna use the slingshot because I don't wanna waste it on guys without helmets. Okay, we can drop that one, which is nice. Question is how much more enemies there is. That's the hard part. You have the guys walking off to the outside, which is fine, I guess. We're kinda like moving around a lot now, so because there was a lot more room for moving around in. Which way do I go? Left or right? Left seems very dead endish. Yeah, because it looks like the bridge got broken down there. Oh right, I wanted to get the ability to let me see. The crossbow we could Yeah, I need 80. So I can get back some of the crossbow arrows that I might have used on these enemies sometimes. Okay, we gotta take the risk. Gotta take that risk, unfortunately. Maybe in here, I guess. But a save point, it looks like. Checkpoint, save point, whichever you like to call it. Look, it's another chapel. No, some kind of temple. Let's cross this thing. We must find a path to the vault. Milo's plan scaring the shit out of me. Hmm? We're meddling with things we can't control. I know, but if it's the price of bringing down the count, I'll pay it. The count doesn't oh. know they want to hurt him. He knows how these people work. If we get rich, more of them. Milo will no, don't be too sure about that. He likes to rule alone. If he gets more powerful, we won't get better. You're not wrong. But crumbs of gold are still gold. <laughs> so they're they're greedy for money, essentially. Yeah, there's like a bunch of guards out here. I know you're behind this. Who? What? <laughs> it's like oh, they're like they're behind this, huh? What? Not sure how bad hey, that is. But... Wake up. We've got Shoot. intruders! Look for the bastards! Could be hiding anywhere. Yeah, we could be hiding anywhere. I'm still wondering because there was one guard that went back to the origin area, I guess. But I'm hoping they don't actually try to keep respawning enemies for me to like deal with. Also, how the hell do they hear the guy collapsing from from the thing? I'm just wondering. Sorry if I'm not take. I'm taking my time with the stealth because I'm. Oh jeez, there's another guy here. Dude, this guy's just what the heck? Just randomly shows up. The murderer must be close. Find them. Can you actually kill this guy with a rock? I'm not even sure. I mean, he doesn't have armor for a body, though. He just has, like, a, uh... He doesn't have armor for a body, but he he just, he just has a helmet. That's that's the only difference, I think. Right. How many are there? Could be a lot. Milo's a big fish. Oh, there's another guard over there. Ooh. Nothing? Okay. I, I mean, I, I don't even know. Alright, let's go. Hard part is not knowing where the guards are all at. The rats are not around, Amicia. I know, but I kind of want to see where the hell- Oh, come on. Don't tell me this guy's going to come on. Please don't tell him he's coming in here. I have the crossbow ready, but this is not great either way. So, oh! Pfft. <laughs> I just like how he's just 
No, 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 no. Follow me! Where's the Truman? Buster's kind of made it fast. Oh, wow, okay. With oh, me. no, no, no. <clears throat> I totally forgot that that guy was there. I didn't even see that guy over there, so... Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I like how we could just counter the guy constantly. What do we do, Amicia? Uh... Get rid of them as much as we can. I wonder if there is a... Oh wait, we can do this actually, so let's try it. Wow. It's like a last ditch effort rather. What we got here? They saw us! Hi! Oh! What? Okay. I am thoroughly surprised he actually had a Grenade sort of item on his pockets, I guess. It's kind of fascinating that that guy, the big guy, had like a, a grenade sort of. I <laughs> like how I just eliminated this guy the way he did. I mean, I eliminated some of the enemies in a funny way. Don't get arrested by soldiers. No. Why? It's horrible. A lot can happen with this. There's a rope here. Well spotted. That's a way in. Oh, I see. I didn't realize. That would have alerted them anyways, I guess. Yeah, that would have alerted the enemies to our location. I don't get how this would not have made the way. Yes. Mind the drop. All right. I wouldn't understand why you would ever not expect the noise to be really loud because of that. I'm not gonna. They're everywhere. Ooh, just like. I'm sorry, I'm just heeding- I'm not heeding the warning of Hugo to say- <laughs> I'm not heeding the warning about let's get out of here before more comes kind of situation. <laughs> I'm just wanting to get any materials I can. I just got the crossbolt back, at least one. But, who knows, there might be another crossbolt or maybe materials I need. Uh, trying to think. I guess we can do an Ignifer, I guess. Craft one up just to pick up some more materials for that Ignifer. Sulfur would be nice then. I know the guy up there died with a with a uh, alcohol on his side, so did this guy drop anything? No he didn't. There was a thing over here though. I saw this and I was just like, hmm. Like I can't grab it maybe, but it's like, hmm. It seems like I can't get alcohol because literally the uh <laughs> The ability to craft something and not lose a material is literally in effect, so... <laughs> that means I didn't really lose alcohol. Damn it. Lingering materials should have been recyclable, really, I feel like. Uh, let me check the side one more time and then we should get inside. Get inside to see if we can get uh, whatever it is. Yeah, I think that's mostly it. What is over here? I just see up. this. Climb up. Farewell. Yeah, it looks like there's something up here. Maybe. Oh. Wait, why would I? I see. There was two ways of getting in there, anyways. Ooh, hey. Nice. Let's see what's inside. I didn't. I didn't think there was a secret like. I didn't expect a, uh, a secret big, big chest here. That was unexpected a little bit. Unfortunately, no tre uh, no extra crossbows, unfortunately. Considering this guy can drop an arrow or something, like, I'm wondering why we couldn't use a crossbow or get one from him. Alright, let's get in. Alright. At least we got the materials. I think that getting pieces is definitely something we needed. 39? Alright. We're almost halfway through 80, so... Yeah, once we get that, we can finally get recyclable cross bolts, at least. 
All right. Yes. Good work. Vital points. Are we safe? I think. For now. For now. <laughs> I know. Literally what we did there might have uh, <laughs> pissed off Milo. So I guess vital points. Knowing their vital points, Amicia strangles enemies with her sling faster and more quiet, quietly. What is this? Quick fingers. Being more and uh, more dexter dexterous. Being more dexterous, uh, Amicia reloads and uses her weapons much faster. Uh, it's kind of like whatever, honestly. Though I would like to have this. Obtain species when she crafts alchemic. Oh, yeah, that definitely is more useful than whatever I just did. Nimbleness, of course, would be prudence and stuff. Yeah, I want to. I'm trying to figure out how do you do. How do you do opportunism and stuff? It doesn't really give you much of a guidance for that, unless I go to the, the help option or something like that. But yeah, it doesn't tell you much. You have to like look it up or something like that. Yeah, I'm trying to get the oppor opportunism, I guess now because it looks like the next upgrade. That door looks like it's been stuck for a long time. Then we'll have to unstick it. Looks like something here. Uh, I see something over here, so let me see what this is first. Amicia, why are there slavers? Why here? It's just bad luck. Not only, but <laughs> they let them come here. They probably do doesn't know that they're there. Uh. So, huh. we've got a rope here. So does this... Blast the door open, maybe? I'm kind of confused where I'm shooting at with this. Maybe it's a part two of the puzzle, I guess. Yeah, let me try it. Let me, let me get off of this first. We need to jump down. Uh -huh. Yeah, there might be a two-part puzzle thing so, here. So, found a way to get us out of here. Still thinking about it. Can we move it? <clears throat> it won't budge. Yes, we'll need a big push. Can we get Let's this thing moving? This does. Yeah. It lifts a chandelier, a big one. It looks uh -huh. heavy. That chain seems like it's holding. But there's a roll. Hopefully, no one heard that. That looks very unnatural. The way that thing fell, it's like way too fast for falling. Like it didn't look like it was a natural fall. It was just like a rewind the <laughs> the animation for like really quickly. Sophia, can you take care of it? My pleasure. I should get through it here first. Yeah. Up we go. Yes. Yep. All right. Let's grab that rope, I guess, and then it's, I guess we're swinging the the thing. I guess is like a swing the chandelier to break the door open situation, probably. Yep. Kind of a weird rope. Thing tied to it. I'm pulling. Go on. Loud indeed. We should move. Agreed. I don't know. The animation feel felt or seemed kind of unnatural. Still, I think. I don't know. It's just. I think it's just a me thing. But I just felt like that thing moved so unnaturally or non-physically. I know they had the to. What's ahead? Good. They Why probably. Did my dream show the slavers to me. Dreams rarely show the whole truth. But it lied to me hmm. to bring me here we were supposed to be healed what dreams don't give we can take hugo it's exhausting but it's life yeah not everything is given answers right off the bat you know oh jeez, the lag excuse the lag like not everything is given you know free answers in life you know it has to be uh a tug and pull situation where we're just living with what we get but at best, it's just working with what we get to make sure we can succeed and stuff. Yeah, the stuttering is a little bit... I guess maybe because we're going into newer areas sometimes, that the, the areas are loading up, like, aggressively, maybe. And that's why I'm stuttering a little bit more than usual. But I'm not too certain if that is the case or not. Looks like there's something down here, maybe? Let's try through here. It was such a nice place. It still can be. I don't know. I feel like I skipped out on the thing again. Damn it! 
It's like me with Lucas last time. It's like I want to go back up there. Can I go back up there, please? Come on. I want to see what I missed up there. Okay, we can't go back up. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I was confused. I was like, no, I didn't even. I don't feel like I've explored everything up here yet, or at least tried to like, explore everything. Oh, there's a desk up here. That's fine. No materials though, unfortunately. This is not a dead end, but... I'm confused on where this leads and where the other one leads. I'm just hoping that I can go back, but then I don't know. Oh god, I can't go back, can I? Oh, I get a choice thing, isn't it? Milo? That's what this guy is It's alright. It will be over soon. He's gonna burn them. To hell this shit. You got a problem, Diaz? Well, these things come out of the ground to eat us. Rats? Oh, slaves escape. And now what? You're wasting what remains for that mad countess. Oh? Wrong! We're not working for her anymore. Oh. It's all in a fresco. The rats announced the coming of the child. And you see how hungry they are. So it's simple. We please them. We please the child. We buy ourselves a seat next to his throne. Then the Count will bow before us. Wow. And the world will follow. So tell me, how many of us will feed the rats before we see your child? Ooh. You have so little faith. He's gonna die, isn't it? But you keep fucking fucking me! I'm surprised you didn't see us behind the rock. Anyone else? Fine. Let's begin. The blood will show the child the way to the chapel. Dear Diaz here has the honor of starting it. I'm so Contact confused. Radiox. If I can go back or not. I want to go back, please. Let me go back. No, we can't. It's gonna it's gonna be a risk. They're already dead. It's already too late. Yeah. We should have started when Milo was there. No, Hugo, you dumbass. God damn it. Too late. Wanted to save them! Hugo! You don't kill people just like that! Why? You do it all the time! Knew it. Because and I can kill quicker than you! Oof. You don't attack people by yourself! You listen to me and do as I say! Is that clear? I don't care! They're all dead now anyway! You go! Ah, let him. Hell. Let him. Oh yeah, because she doesn't understand his abilities. You go listen! Ah. Let me go back, please. Let me go back. No, I want to go back. I missed the opportunity to grab whatever was in the back. Damn it. Can I actually restart the... the? <laughs> I can't restart the section, can I? Can I restart the section? I'm pretty sure it's going to load me back over to this to this part right here. It might, it might not be, but we'll see. Nah, yeah, we are, we're, we're going to be stuck. Damn it. I hate this. It's not like it's blocked or anything here. Like, we're not literally blocked and going down. God damn it. I hate this game's checkpoint system. Damn it. <laughs> just let me go back just a little smidge bit. It's not like it's some story implication. No, maybe maybe that might be the case with the story implication. But... Hugo, what was that? Oh, yeah. This she, is doesn't... madness. You never said what. Oh, by the way, my brother controls rats and gets them to eat people. You two run away. And I... I didn't want you to. Oh. It was wrong, yes. But I thought this place would give us a chance. I thought you wouldn't have to see us like this. Just go talk to him. Well, I can't I find him. Some time. I understand. Yeah, it's a little bit 
out of place for Sophia, honestly. It's a little bit out of place for her, but at the same time, it gives what Milo wanted, which was the child to control the rats. Hugo. I didn't realize that my uh, my my choices can affect the game if there is a case, but I can't tell. I can't tell really. I know you're upset, and I know you wanted to help, but killing people, even bad people, they're just like the Inquisition. Yep. It's like Vodan. Not Vodan. They do whatever they want to other people. Sure. And sometimes they force us to act, yes. But just let me take that decision, please. All this, it's not fair. I know. It will stop once we find out how to heal you. Mm. Come here. I think we owe Sophia an apology. Yep. Can I go back still after this? I want to just go back and grab anything that might have been missed in that one spot. Also, it is true that the storm is coming, so it's kind of interesting to see. Sophia? I'm sorry. <laughs> I am too. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's just walk. Oh, jeez. Stupid lag spikes. Man, these lag spikes are really insane. Let's walk through here. No, it doesn't want to even let me... Game, you made the worst choice in letting me not do this. Damn it, I have to re... Ugh. I would have to replay this section to just get to that little section of the corner. So st Are you... Alright. Letting it sink in. Yes. Rats. Yes. Sorry for the lag spikes. I'm just seeing like how bad these lag spikes are getting. It's not great. This... Oh, this is the rope thing. We're gonna have to... We have to get to that thing to get the rope open, I guess. Can we go through here? Maybe? Maybe not? Alright. I What's didn't see the save point yet, so let's... Uh... Yeah, we haven't seen a save point checkpoint yet, so we'll have to... We'll have to get to that section I think soon. I found something. A secret? Or is that the path forward? That's the question. I really dislike the fact that I don't know what's actually Climb the up. main path or what's the side path. And it's really frustrating for me sometimes in that case where I will miss that sort of path because game doesn't allow me to understand it or Lord, see it. They use this tree to chain up slaves. Yep. That's what they do. Look. Is it? A ragdoll. There was a child Ooh. here. Charming. A child slave? That's possible? It's not, is it? I'm sorry. There is. They took their door away. You should put it back. Let it they be. They couldn't even bring it with them. But maybe they escaped. That's what's most important. Yes. Come, Hugo, let's leave. Can't believe this is a actual collectible about information yeah it's kind of a weird one the ragdoll information okay so we didn't really miss a souvenir we probably missed the feather which is probably in that one corner that i just went through the reason why i think that is because it seems like one of those like off the beaten road path for like either a chest only or a feather as well so i wouldn't know otherwise until then i guess all right uh, I'm actually curious. Did I did that walking down that path? No, it would have just give us a little corner to just go around, I guess. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, it would have been a corner over here to just go through. Yeah, we would have dropped down to one part of the corner here. Yeah, I see the tree here. Yeah, we would have just dropped down from that little plank looking spot there. Okay. Anyways, let's keep moving and then if we can get to a checkpoint then that's when I'll probably end it for reals. Here I guess would be a checkpoint maybe. Looks like it. Yep. No. Milo's work. He said the blood would show the child the way to the chapel. So there's something there. I'm scared of what it is. Alright. Cool. Thank you guys for watching. So hope to see you guys in the next episode of Nobody Minds. Hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We get nights for one of watching this.
Apologies from my side for not knowing that that side path and the little corner of the cliff area was like another side thing that might have been for me to grab. I just totally didn't know that was a path for because I thought we were going straight to the fortress and the fortress was on the left side of the, the, the background. But I didn't realize the chapel was where we're headed so that we can figure out where we're going after that. But I wouldn't know because I thought we were just going straight to the fortress. I guess that was my bad in thinking that. But at the same time, I kind of am frustrated that sometimes when somebody realizes you couldn't go backtracking a little bit, just a tiny little smidge bit, uh, it frustrates me to no end to not allow the player to just go back. Considering that there's no excuse to why you wouldn't be able to go back. Like, it's not like you broke... Uh, broke the level design in any sense in that capacity. Like, I get it when it's, like, the little big open world spot in the uh, middle of the, uh, with all the bridge and the, the people celebrating and all that. Like, I get it that open world spot is technically built to have you backtrack in some cases. But in the case of, like, the linear levels, like, they're not, they're not, like, uh, there was not a scene where it's just like, oh, you broke the path back or something like that. Like, there was no excuse for it. So I don't know why they would do that and prevent you from grabbing exactly just that. It's just frustrates me to no end for that particular section there. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Next episode, let's go ahead and see if we can get closer to Milo, maybe. Maybe Milo might know where the hell this fortress information might be at. Or we just find the information and, like, fight Milo, I guess. I don't know. Anything could be possible. This, this chapter doesn't really... I don't know, I feel like they, they're they just doing a very heavy-handed, like, introduction to a new character and a new faction altogether, uh, rather quickly, I think. I mean, there hasn't been any meaningful, uh, meaningful, like, sense of bringing one faction and keeping them for most of the game, minus the, the knights, the, the counts, like, soldiers, the, the counts, soldiers are, like, the only thing, but they don't, we don't really know too much beyond, like, what they are like what they do what they are what kind of lions or uh, what kind of thing they hold against us and stuff like that um like the mercenaries kind of just came in and just disappeared the beehive cultists came just arrived and then disappeared and now we got milo and the the slave the slavers coming in so i'm guessing once we're done with them here it's like to just disappear from this game altogether it just feels like the game didn't choose to stick with one uh, set of factions and keeping them around to kind of play a big role to the whole thing coming together or something like that. I don't feel like they will, unfortunately. I mean, in the tale, in 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 a Plague Tale Innocence, there was just one faction, the Inquisition. That's it, and you got to know all. You, you got to know about how and who they are, what they do, what they what their approach is, what kind of like sort of like operation they run. You see their leaders, you hear their plans, and stuff like that. Here it's just very all over the place, and they haven't stick with one faction just yet. And I'm kind of feeling like they're stretching themselves way too far with this whole story with all these factions. That I'm just like, why can't you just stick with one group of enemies so far? It's just kind of weird, honestly. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's a lot of, like, make an idea, but don't keep it for too long kind of feeling of design so far. So... We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see if they'll, if they'll keep Milo and his men as a villain group or turn them into allies later on or something like that. Because I feel like Milo seems like a bad guy, but he might be forced into being a good guy. I don't even know. I doubt it, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, other than that, that's it for this episode. Roz, out.